Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the support memory boost and you know the stage and how you can beat it for the Lamentation of the Gods support memory. Now this obviously requires you to use free to play characters only. You have to have the strength Super Saiyan Trunks future and you have to have well not have to but you need adequate enough free to play units to complete this. Now you can use any free to play units, uh, but you have to try and use future saga ones because those are going to net you a much better performance. So that's pretty much it. Uh, honestly speaking, not too much else really to mention. Uh, when building your team, a couple considerations. Obviously the typing of the boss. Boss is tech then, sorry, it's physical then tech. So try and bring a mixture of strength and into units. Uh, ideally, obviously, keeping your into units out of harm's way in the first stage. Because we want to prioritize future target category units, we do want to do that. But we do have missions that we want to complete as well. Those missions require us to use four revenge type characters. We are fortunate in that there are also four revenge slash future saga characters that can be utilized. So, for example, we have here the future trunks the agl one we have the strength future trunks the one that we have to use we then have two inter future trunks one base and one super saiyan so by using those four characters we guarantee ourselves that we'll complete all of the missions across both sets of difficulties for the stage being use four revenge characters for the super hard difficulty and use four future saga characters for the standard difficulty so there's definitely something that is uh, more appealing, I should say, of course. But yeah, overall, you know, I think for me, generally speaking, pretty straightforward one. A lot of players will have these characters uh, for the most part. If you don't have them, then just build separate teams. So focus instead on having, you know, for example, uh, a revenge centric team focus then on having a team that is more future saga centric sworn enemies is probably your best bet for a revenge centric team so just keep an eye on that but yeah generally speaking it's all pretty straightforward stuff now of course that was the first difficulty fairly simple you can see we've completed all the missions but the next one's pretty different so the missions here are to beat it without any support items to beat it in less than seven turns and also, of course, to beat it, as I mentioned, using the four revenge category characters. This is not impossible. In fact, it's pretty possible uh, overall. But what you're going to want to do is just manage it. If you don't manage to clear one, just clear them separately. So if, for example, you can't beat it in seven turns, go back in, use a bomber item, use some attack support items, boost yourself up, make your life easier, and, you know, finish it within seven turns if you can finish it within seven turns but can't finish it without a support item then take a more defensively orientated team and just do it a lot slower you can use support memories so those support items are found on support memories uh, are allowed and you can use those to clear the stage pretty easily so they added 10 percent boost to your characters which makes your life a lot easier if i'm being honest Otherwise, yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. Honestly speaking, pretty fun. Uh, a nice, fun little run. This one, I think, overall. Really quite cool and enjoyable uh, for me, at least. And I think ultimately, at the end of the day, it was a pretty cool time. Of course, uh, you know, with everything being said, it's going to depend on your box. And you do need free-to-play units, so I do understand that some players will probably struggle. And at the end of the day, this is definitely something you're going to want to try your best at completing. But yeah, that's basically it for me. If you do need any more help, let me know in the comments down below. It's always appreciated. And otherwise, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, as always, take care, stay safe. And if you do need any more help, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. And just remember, support memory boosting is actually rather helpful. And I actually do think the Scott's Laments one's a pretty nice one overall. So yeah, that's basically it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Till then, take care, stay safe, bye.